Good morning, uh, student. Today we are going to study about a uh, last matter in our syllabus, that is about the tool. So most probably most of the uh, people are using gold in our daily life, and it is one of the precious matters that has been present uh, for us in Nepali community. What it is mostly used, isn't it? So. What are the symbol? What is the symbol of the gold? So the symbol of the gold is AU. It is called as Arun. Okay. So its name is Arun. That's why it is called as AU. Or the symbol is AU. And its atomic number is seventy nine. So the atomic number of gold is seventy nine. And if we see about the atomic weight, the atomic weight of gold is one nine seven point two, means one ninety seven point two. Then it has a variable valency. It has the valency that is called as variable valency means two valency two and three. So it is called as variable valency because it has two valency. So according to the reactions. The valency may be two or three. Then, if we see the positions in the periodic table, if we see the positions in periodic table, the positions in the periodic table it is found in one B group, one B group D block elements. It is transitional elements, so it is found in D block. And if we go to the period, that is the six period. Okay, six period D block. One B group. So in periodic table, if we want to see the gold, then what we have to look at? We have to look at group one B, D block. It one B is in D block itself, and in period six, that is in period six, we have to see that part. So if we go to the uh, melting point, so it melts with the temperature of. 1064 degrees Celsius means to melt the gold we require the temperature of more than 1000 that is 1064 degrees Celsius before air it it does not melt then the boiling point so the boiling point is 2600 degrees Celsius means to boil out to evaporate gold we need 2600 degree Celsius temperature. So in our crust or in earth, where where it is been found or how it is been found? So gold is found in the free stage also. It is found in free stage means it do not contact with others and it lies freely. And also it remains in combined stage means combined stage means it mix up with the other minerals. Like mostly it is mixed with the quartz. Quartz means do you know? What is quartz? Quartz means the metals, uh, means the uh, minerals which is formed by the by the combinations of silicon and oxygen. Okay, patthar one so ne amle patthari. That is green, red, graphite. These are may call as the quartz. So. Um, Which are used mostly in our jewelry. We are using that one. So different colors of rock that is called as quartz. It is because the presence of silicon and oxygen. It is shining uh, rock. They are also found in alluvial soil. So what is alluvial soil means again? Alluvial soils means those soil which are come back, which are taken by the river. So river carried out means all it is all minerals or the any part that is been present in the particular area, which is been carried out or the which are been washed out with the river and settles or deposit in one of the part and that is called as alluvial soil means sedimented by river. So mostly in uh, Sun Kosi we are finding uh, gold in sand. So that is. The soil bring up by the river Sunkosi in Nepal. So alluvial soil means those type of soils which are been 
carried out by the rivers and sedimented in other area okay alluvial soil then if we see the example or where it has been found so or the ores if we say then they are sublimate it is a mixtures of silver with and uh, means gold and terrium okay terrium and the golds and alum means gold mixed with silver and terrium okay so these are mostly found and the other one that is the calcareous so calcareous are the mixtures of gold with terrium okay terrium it is a types of mineral so uh, terrium or terrium so again the pizzates is the mixtures of silver with terrium these are also these are the three different types of mixtures that uh, where the uh, means gold are been found so this is gray in color so these are mostly a rock type which are silver in color and this is yellow means yellow which types gray or yellow which types of color is been found in the rock so these are the some of the example of gold found in the combine stage now comes to the another part that is the physical properties so the physical properties of the gold it is yellow color shining metals we all know that it is a yellow color shining metal and its melting point is 1064 degree celsius and boiling point is 2600 degree celsius and they are or it is highly malleable and ductile metal malleable and ductile metal i mostly all the metals are most of the metals are ductile and malleable means they can make a thin plate or the thin wire and they are shiny without any breaking so that is called as the malleable and ductile and it is very good conductor of heat and electricity so gold the temperature is 160 1064 degrees celsius so it can uh, means absorb most of the heat that's why uh, if you if you are unknown about the mobile uh, means that is the main chips of the mobile they contain gold okay the motherboard of the computer is also contain some amount of gold plating so that it absorb the temperature while working in the computer i think you may know this one it is good conductor of heat and electricity therefore the motherboards and uh, of the computers laptops and other arts are made up of gold so mobile also the master chips is made up of gold then it is one of the most inactive metal inactive metal means it does not uh, dissolve in water or react in air easily so it is inactive metal so these are the some of the physical properties of gold then come to the next one use of gold next next topic that is use of gold so gold are mostly used in nepal for making jewelry and metal okay so gold metal we all know that but although it is a gold plating metal but it is been used then another one it is been used for making statue most of the statue of gold and goddess are made up of gold then other one it is used in the plating base of gold like gold plating you may know that one some of the metal is been plated with a gold that is called as the gold plating then the other one it is gold compound are used in medicine so most of the medicines or energy giving or the bacterial or the viral uh, disease uh, medicines are uh, means are made with the components of gold gold are been placed along with the other mixtures on that medicines and in photography also it is been used then it is also used for making alloy okay different types of metal is been made uh, that is uh, mixtures of the different metal is called as alloy so gold is also used for making alloy so these are the some of the topic which are present in your uh, syllabus in chemistry metal so 
in chemistry we have studied about chemical reactions then gases then uh, metal uh, metal or daily use so in our last uh, in our next class we are going to the another topic that is or another topic or the another part that is biology so we will start biology we have already done about the physics and chemistry now we will go to some of the chapters of biology from tomorrow so thank you to all of you for a great day thank you